Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to be working on the Fox body. Here lately, when I'm starting it, I'm getting surges at an idle. It's going up and then it'll come down just a little bit and go up and come down. And it's also a hesitation when I give it throttle. And the things I have done is check timing and I tried to check the voltage to the throttle position sensor and I was getting mixed readings back and forth. I'm going to clean the throttle body, the, the idle air control valve, and I'm going to clean the EGR valve, put all that stuff back. And then I'm going to put a new throttle position sensor on it and see if that clears it up. I'm going to start it and show you what it's doing at its current state, but I'm not going to let it run long because I don't want to get the engine hot because I'm fixing to work on it. Let's uh, take a look here at this RPM gauge when I start it. You can see I'm fluctuating in voltage too, which is, I don't know if it's just because of the idle surge, but every once in a while I drop down on voltage. It's a possibility that I could have a bad ground somewhere too. I, I will check that, but first let's go ahead and cut it off where it gets hot. I'm going to go out here and we're going to start breaking this throttle body down. All right, first thing I want to do is take this uh, cold air tube off. Just loosen it up and it should move. Actually, the throttle body doesn't look that bad, really. Next thing I'm gonna do is take off the throttle position sensor. I really think this is gonna be my problem. I hope, I hope it's nothing major. EGR valve has some black on the outside of it. I hope it's not bad. And something else I need to probably check is make sure all my injector plugs are in. I think they can come loose sometimes and not run right. Throttle position sensor. Let's go ahead and take these hoses off. Vacuum hose, coolant hose. I had to take it off on this side. I'm gonna take it off on this side. This circulates around the throttle body and the EGR. May drip a little bit of coolant. That's okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take off idle air control. This is an eight millimeter. Yeah, that's pretty dirty in there. It's got a lot of black buildup inside. I should have a new gasket for that. You can see black buildup in there. I'm gonna take the top nut off of the EGR. Go ahead and unplug the bottom. And then take the vacuum line off of the EGR. Need to unbolt this bracket that comes down here beside the EGR. It's a 10 millimeter. You're gonna have two two screws, the throttle cable bracket. Should just move out of the way good enough to where we can get these nuts off and pull the throttle body. The bottom nut for this uh, EGR is bigger than the top nut. I think it's a 14 and that should be our EGR. Throttle body is gonna be a 13 millimeter for these throttle body stud nuts. The throttle cable, you should just be able to pop it right out. And you can see it's kind of dirty. I'll go ahead and clean it up and get some of this coolant residue off of it as well. Go ahead and remove the rest of this hose just to get it out of the way. Look at all this. So probably going to vacuum that out before I get anything else in here. And then I'll spray inside this throttle body. Uh, there's the back side. You can see all this buildup. It's a, uh, it definitely needed to be cleaned. So you can see here, I'm gonna rip this gasket off and just try to clean all this graphite. It looks like material, let's try to clean it off. I got that release, now it was, felt like it stuck. Now I have two cleaners. I have a throttle body 
air intake cleaner and also have a mass air sensor cleaner anything that's got a sensor in it i kind of like to use this because it's it's a little bit it's not as harsh i don't feel like as some of your other cleaners but we are going to use both today the idle air control i probably will use mass air sensor cleaner and then for this i probably just use throttle body Okay, I've got the uh, EGR clean. It's uh, actuating. Uh, it looks a lot better inside. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. So let's hope that it works. I'm gonna set that aside. And let's look at this uh, idle air control valve. It's got a lot of dirt inside of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some mass air flow and hopefully we can clean that out so that looks a lot better inside probably run with that i guess hopefully that will fix that let's get into this throttle body let's go ahead and try to get this gasket off just be easy with your screwdriver you don't want to gouge anything i'm just barely using it to scrape with going back and forth just to try to loosen the debris up and the build up and the gasket get some of these it definitely looks like it's been leaking at some point that looks pretty good we will go ahead and try to sand the surfaces try to get a good gasket surface okay i'm going to take some throttle body cleaner and just start spraying it and then you can open it up kind of put your fingers through the butterfly just try to wipe it out real good and stick your fingers through on the butterfly now I'm going to take some of this and just kind of smooth it up a little nothing major all right here's the throttle body looks like it's actuating well so we'll let that dry and air out. And then we got the water jacket. And this has a lot of buildup, like you can see here, this massive amounts of buildup. So there's that. Let's get the new parts and let's get over here to the car, clean up over there, and then we can start slapping everything back together. With a scuff pad, let's try to clean it up the best I can. So that looks pretty good for the most part. Here's the kit I bought. I bought the Trick Flow kit. It's uh, the numbers 5150093. This comes with the studs and all the gaskets for different size manifolds. I'm gonna open this up and try to find all the correct gaskets. I saved this gasket to kind of go by. I have some copper based anises. I'm gonna throw on the threads of these just a little bit, nothing too crazy to help not seize up. And I'm just bottling them out by hand. I'm not gonna tighten them. I think by hand's good enough. Just run them in. So here's my first gasket. I'm gonna throw it on. I went ahead and bolted my EGR valve on. I anesthesized those just a little bit and I just snug them up. Going to throw my other gasket on there. I'm going to hook my throttle cable back up. Just pop it back in and just slide this on. I'm going to put just a little dab of anises as on these as well. These nuts are, I think they're 10 millimeter. They're a different nut than what was on it before. I think these studs are also good if you get a bigger throttle body because it comes with two sets of gaskets. Crisscross on these. These don't have to be super tight. You just want them snugged up where you're compressing the gasket. Put your 
throttle cable back on. Also, you can plug up your vacuum there. Here is the throttle position sensor, part number 309-7504. This is a Ford Motorcraft. That's plugged up. Now for your coolant lines, they're gonna come up here and then got one on this side. Go ahead and run it in. And then you got the vacuum line. Plug your idle air control valve up and then back with your intake tube all right it's back together let's get in the car give it a start and see what happens all right guys i'm fixing to start it it may rev really high and stuff just because of all the cleaner that i sprayed through the throttle body and stuff but let's just start it and see what happens I got all that back together. It is idling better, but it's it's not surging like it was, but it is still idling a little bit high. I tried to adjust the idle screw and I pretty much came all the way off of it and it's still idling around 900 to 1,000. Uh, I guess the next thing we'll probably have to do is maybe try to do a smoke test and check for vacuum leaks. Even at a idle and it's not surging like it is, it still sounds like there's a slight uh, hiccup in it, I guess you should say. Like a small hesitation, especially when you start it and you give it throttle. You can give it throttle and it's like it takes a second and then it finally comes up. I mean, there's like a, de a delay, it almost, Put you in the mind of like one of the old carbureted cars you know that wasn't tuned out really good and you uh give it throttle and it just kind of was slow i did unplug the idle air control valve and i let it run i held it up to idle around a thousand rpms i did that for about a couple of minutes or so and then i cut the car off and i plugged the idle air control valve back up and then I started it back and let it idle for another couple of minutes and it kind of started leveling out, uh, almost like a base idle reset. Then I took it down the road and it, it run pretty good. Like I was, I pulled out in first and I, I eased, I didn't even like punch it at first, you know, I pulled out and I got it on a roll uh, and then I punched it and actually spun the tires a little bit. So it's got, it feels like it's got power to be stock but there's still something that's not 100% right in my opinion. Uh, like I said, it's still idling kind of high. I mean, I guess I could try to order a, an idle air control valve. I pushed on the injector plugs and all those seemed to be uh, snapped in place. It didn't, didn't seem like any of them was loose. The only one I didn't get to was the last two on the driver's side under the intake. I couldn't get my hand back there where the motor was hot. Once it cools off, I'll try it again. I might try to get some barium B12 and put in the gas tank and try to run maybe a cycle or two through that. And maybe the car just needs to be drove. I think it had been setting for almost two years when I bought it. Maybe it just needs to be drove and run and get everything kind of circulating again. I mean, I'd love to be able to say that fixed it. Uh, that did make it better, a lot better actually, but it did not fix it. I'm just trying to be as transparent as I possibly can be. Uh, it's just gonna be, uh, we're gonna have to chase it down. That's just part of it. I don't think this probably helped you at all, but maybe it showed you how to take a throttle body apart if you hadn't before. Just stay tuned and we'll keep trying to track this down and we'll figure it out. I appreciate you watching and we'll catch you on the next one.